Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 1st through March 7th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So take what resonates and leave the rest. What do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week ahead? What do we have for Leo? Magician in the mirror. So when I see magician in the mirror, it means that you have some sort of power. You uh, need to be aware of your power. You need to be aware of your connections. Um, I feel like this is a, a time of change for you. Uh, you really need to take a look at yourself. I would say for you to look in the mirror and ask yourself who you are, who you want to be. What do you see? Is that who you want to be? I feel as though, um, you know, I just noticed the infinity sign on this card, and I, th and I use this deck a lot. I don't believe I've ever noticed the infinity sign up there. You know, the infinity sign is also on the strength card quite often. So I do believe that you have some sort of strength this week. You have a lot of resources you may not be utilizing. You know, maybe you, you need to dig up those resources within you you know, to bring yourself success. This is a card of action. Take action right now. I feel like you have a, you have the power to create whatever you want, but you have to use that power. You have to find that power within you. You have to believe in yourself as well. This is going to be a very creative week, I believe. Um, you have to take charge. It's a time of taking charge of your life. What I wanted to say before I started this reading, I was sitting here and I had chosen to do you first for today. And I was sitting here just in silence. And uh, I was thinking, not everybody is your friend. Not everybody is your friend. And you can't be everybody's friend. And when you, when you let people into your energy that aren't really your friends, you know, you tend to soak up their energy. So I feel like you need to really choose your friends wisely this week, you know, and maybe you need to do a clean out of your friends, okay? If if people aren't supporting you, they're not your friends, okay? Anyhow, um, you are in a strong position this week. This card wouldn't come up. The magician is somebody who has the power, you know, so you're going to be in your power this week. You just have to use it very, very wisely, um, now, this is also a card of manifestation. Um, you have the power to manifest what you want, but you realize or you need to realize that there's time that uh, comes with manifestation. Things don't happen overnight, but this is as above, so below. So if you ask for it and you create it, you know, in your mind, because this is definitely a card of mind, you know, you create it in your mind, you will manifest it. So this is a, a powerful week of manifestation for you. So really, really pay attention to your thoughts. And remember, I was just talking about the energy of the people around you. You do soak up their energy. So be careful with who you are around, okay? Choose, choose your, your, your friends and your energy wisely this week. Um, One more card, please, for Leo. I guess we'll take two. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess we'll have four. Now, when I see the number four, fours are about angel protection, okay, and all is well. So you may not feel like all is well, but rejection is God's protection. Angels work for God. Um... There's protection here. And this is a divine connection. So you have a divine connection. You may be being protected. They're giving you control. You have to control yourself. You have the control right now. There is angels around you, okay, or universal protection. Hi. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. It's interesting that I brought up your friends. Maybe you need to remove somebody 
from your energy. Or they're leaving. They could be choosing to leave. Not unsuccessful plans. So there is some sort of unsuccessful plans with somebody. And whoever that person is, they're going to be leaving your life by the looks of things. You need to listen to your gut. You need to listen to your intuition. You definitely have a divine connection to source. Use it wisely. This is an awakening as well. So you may be going through some sort of spiritual awakening right now. Um, maybe you're being protected. I feel like there is some sort of protection here. Maybe they're trying to protect you. And you're trying to be everybody's friend. You know? Sometimes you have to remove yourself from people. And that means for good. Unless you haven't learned your lesson. So what do we have for Leo? Someone is leaving your life. You know who this person is. <laughs> you do. You do. I guess that's it, huh? Queen of Coins reversed. So this is ungrounded. It's unstable. It's not practical. It's unrealistic. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Does it have to be? This could be your energy even. This is somebody that is insecure, that needs to let something go. They're very stubborn, jealous. You may be dealing with somebody that is very jealous of you. Um... It could go vice versa. There's jealousy issues here. I mean, I know who the Queen of Coins is. Upright and reverse. This is jealousy. Okay, there's jealousy issues. And it could be with anybody. Um, you could be dealing with somebody that is like a green-eyed monster. You know, and you get the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody that um, is neglectful, you know. This is also a loss of possessions here. Somebody, some of you, or somebody is losing something. They are definitely losing something. They're not stable. They're not secure. They're not very um, nurturing. So this is this is definitely losing something. Um, Knight of Coins. It feels like you are dealing with an Earth sign. Could also be dealing with a Gemini. Um, this is a Gemini as well. Anyway, the Knight of Coins. Now, that is in your past position. I think that you've been holding on to something or somebody's been holding on to you. Um, whoever this person is, they don't have anything to offer you. Maybe they did in the past. Maybe they, they thought they could offer you something, but it feels like they, they don't. it's not really solid. It's not really stable. Um, you may have tried to build a foundation with somebody. You may have put in effort. Or at one time, it thought it looked like it was going to work out. But I don't think it's working out anymore. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't want it. It's not valuable. You know, there's no value in it. Somebody may have presented you something that, you know, seemed valuable. But I don't think it is. I don't. Um... Ace of Wands. Now, that's really good. This is a new beginning. It's a new drive. It's a new desire. It's a sudden change as well. So I do believe there's going to be a sudden change, a sudden desire to let something go, whether you're doing it, because this is an action-oriented card that's taking action this week. So action is definitely going to be taken this week. The Ace of Wands is a passionate new beginning. So you do have a passionate new beginning. Some of you, there could be a new partnership here. Or there's a new avenue that is opening up for you that could really grow. You know, the Ace of Wands is about growth. It's a new spark. It's a new drive. Um, where, in which you get this new vision. You know, maybe it's a new vision where you just decide to go down a new path. This is a gift as well. Whenever I see the any Aces are new opportunities. So you have a new opportunity here, but it will require you to let go of something that you've been holding on to. You've probably been trying hard to make something work that just isn't growing, but you have another opportunity for growth here. Chariot reversed. Now, the chariot reversed is uh, something coming to a halt, unfortunately. I mean, something coming to a stop. This is... 
a lack of discipline, a lack of control, emotions all over the place, angry. You may be dealing with somebody that is angry and jealous of you that is trying to stop you or they are stopping you from growth because this is growth. Somebody is stopping your growth. This is a halting your growth. It's, I feel like it's an earth sign. If it's not an earth sign, it's somebody that has earth in their chart. This person has insecurity issues. They really aren't stable. This could be your energy as well. So then we definitely have somebody here that is not stable. And this is about time for some growth. You know, there's, it's time for growth. With this chariot reversed, though, it feels like there's, there could be an emotional outburst ahead. Somebody could be angry. You know, they may not be able to control their emotions. This is lack of direction. Scattered, you know, scatterbrained. Three of coins. The three of coins is about teamwork. It's about working together. A team. Something about a team. We may have a team that is getting together to stop something as well. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a team this week. Um, you may be collaborating with people. There could be some sort of collaboration that is happening this week about working together. This does have to, this is an, actually a good opportunity that is coming to you to work with somebody else, probably work with somebody new. I do see teamwork here. So I do believe that there's been a delay. There's been a delay in success and there's a need to work with somebody else. Somebody needs to work together with somebody else. They need to be open to working with somebody else, to working as a team. Something about teamwork, togetherness. There is a new opportunity to work with somebody else, put it that way. But you may have to master your emotions and stop working with somebody that doesn't give you something. They don't give you anything solid. They don't give you anything stable. This person is irresponsible. I feel like they did try to uh, give you something, but they, whatever they try to give you, it's not very real. It's not real. Anyway, you have a new opportunity here to work with other people or somebody else. Ah, so this is a golden opportunity that leads to stability and security and success. So this is, this is abundance. This is a potential for something solid here. You definitely have a new opportunity. This is a gift, something you can touch, something that you can hold, that you manifested. You're manifesting something solid right now. You are manifesting something solid, something stable and secure. You're going to be given an opportunity that you asked for, but you will have to be practical and you'll have to be grounded and you're going to have to let, and I'm telling you why, you got to let something go. Maybe it's stubbornness. I don't know. Anyhow, the Ace of Coins is a, is a really, really good opportunity. So you're going to be given an opportunity. It could be a job offer. It could be a job offer or money or a gift of money or, or it could even be a new person coming into your life that is actually real. You know, this is real. This is a new solid opportunity that you can actually touch that could last something you can save and hold on to. So you're going to be receiving an opportunity. It could be a job offer. It could be. You may have to learn new skills. You may have to do things that you've never done before. You may have to uh, start, you know, start from the beginning because we have a beginning here and beginning here. So you may have to work with people you've never worked with before. And you may have to start from the beginning, but I feel like you can be successful if you can master your emotions and stop stalling. There's procrastination here with this chariot reversed. So anyway, you are going to be presented with an opportunity that could really grow into something long term. Okay, it could. But it, what you're going to be working, it's going to take work. Okay, it's not going to be easy. It's going to take work. You're going to have to work as a team. You're going to have to work together. And you're probably going to have to learn some new skills.
some of you are getting an offer. I don't know if it's it's from a. I don't know. It could be a bank. It doesn't have to be a bank. Or job, job offer. I feel like there's somebody that wants to work with you. They see potential. There's potential here. Somebody sees your potential. They do. They really see. They see your potential. They see your spirit. They see your uh, connection. You have some sort of connection here. Psychic ability. This is a divine connection to source. So you have some sort of connection here. You, and I got chills in my arms. So you got some sort of connection. Somebody can see. It's almost like they can see your aura as well. A very positive energy. The magician is positive. The ace of coins is positive. The ace of wands is, is positive. So somebody sees something. They do see something. They see something in you. Maybe you don't see it. Maybe that queen of pentacles is you not being realistic, not being practical about yourself. Anyway, there is something in you that is very valuable. And some, I feel like somebody really, really sees it. And if you think about I, that is about seeing. Maybe you start to see something in yourself. Maybe your intuition or your connection to source is growing this week. It could, this could be spiritual growth. Absolutely. Maybe you're going through a spiritual growth spurt, you know. What do we have? Oh, there it is. Oh, we got a few. We got to take them. This whole pile fell out. Five of Wands. And Five of Wands is a power struggle. We definitely have a power. Struggling. Struggling. Fighting. Um, you may be fighting with people. Struggling to get along with people. You could be dealing with a lot of competition. People that just want to play games and fight with you. Uh, Four of Cups reversed. Taking a new opportunity that was missed in the past. Maybe you didn't see it. Maybe you didn't realize it. Maybe the other person didn't. This is uh, somebody that has ignored an opportunity or missed an opportunity. Now they're interested in taking an opportunity. Uh, they want an opportunity. Ah, the tower reversed. Now this is a permanent loss of some sort. Somebody has missed something. They were playing games. They were highly competitive. They missed something. They did. They missed an opportunity. Now there could be a permanent loss here. I'm just being honest. The tower tried to avoid it, but didn't make any changes. Somebody was staying in a false foundation, try, trying to pretend it was stable, trying to pretend it was secure when it wasn't. Now we have a major disturbance that causes a breakdown, which forces, this is universal force, forces somebody to see something. So something is definitely going to be seen this week. Ah, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is suffering. It's the death of a situation. Something that was false. Something that was unstable. That, you know, well, this is false sense of security. It's car it's crashed. Or if it hasn't crashed already, it's going to come crashing down right this week. We have somebody here that missed something. Now they're going to see it very, very, very clearly. This is the death of a situation. This is a very disturbing event that may cause a permanent loss. I do feel like there's a loss here. But when the tower falls, everything happens for a reason. This is a necessary evil. Evil. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of competition. There's been a lot of games that has been being been played. Okay. Nine of Wands, this is facing life challenges. So you're going to be dealing with some life challenges this week. You are. Um, I feel like there's some sort of major event that has been avoided up until now. This week, it's all going to come crashing down and the light is going to be shed. This is, And it has been avoided. It can't be avoided anymore, okay? Because there's been some faults, falsities here, okay? Somebody has been un unrealistic. They haven't been you know, true to themselves. But anyhow, this is seeing very clearly. This is be interested now. Somebody is interested. They can see something that they missed. So yeah, this is facing challenges after a painful ending. So there is going to be an event that causes some sort of uh, pain. Okay, if it hasn't happened already. You need to protect yourself in some way. This is a card of protection. You've come a long way. I feel like you need to leave the painful disturbance behind you. Okay, it's time for you to give it up. 
Okay, because so this is about give it up. You don't have anything to prove. I feel like uh, there's going to... This is the death of a situation that was built on false pretenses. It's not stable. It's going to come crashing down. So, yeah, I feel like this week you're going to be dealing with an event. Okay? And it's painful. The Ten of Swords is painful. Um, this is a breakdown. It could be a catastrophe. You know, this is a mental or physical collapse that causes the death of a situation. Somebody could actually collapse both of these cards. Is like a collapse, so I'm not sure what is going on. Um, you're going to need to find all the strength that you can muster to deal with this situation. Okay, you are. This is you need to. You're going to find it. You're going to need to. Okay, I feel like uh, you need. You need to. You're going to need strength this week. You may need to defend yourself. You may be put in a position where you need to defend yourself. This is a battle. This is some sort of battle. I don't know who you're fighting with, but it feels like you're fighting with somebody. And it's going to end. And this fighting is coming to an end. This is a permanent loss. It is. This is seeing the light very, very clearly. So you're going to be seeing something very, very, very clearly. And this is a new vision like I talked about. So whatever is happening... Uh, everything happens for a reason. Um, this is the end of a painful situation. You you may be left to fend for yourself. Okay, this is fending for yourself. Um, there could be an angry outburst ahead. But you're going to be looking at a new opportunity that can bring you abundance. So everything happens for a reason. You're going to be working with other people that you have not worked with before. I'm positive. I'm positive. Um, you have a couple of yes answers here as well. So if you have an answer to a question, if, you're, if your intuition is telling you something, listen to your intuition. The answer is yes. Your intuition is correct. Um, you got to be careful about driving too fast because the chariot reverse can be a car accident or car issues. You know, you could be dealing with some issues this week with a vehicle. You know, the tower can be a vehicle as well. It can be, a, it's like a foundation, a structure. So I'm not sure there could be an accident, you know, that doesn't end well. So I'm, I'm just being honest with you. You come to these readings to hear the truth, right? So anyhow, whatever is happening, this leads you down a new path and you're going to be turning your back on a painful, stressful situation that has really caused you a lot of instability, okay? I feel like you're going to be in some sort of control this week. You're going to be in a position of power. You're going to be taking charge. You may have asked for protection and, you know, the universe responds, and this is the universe, responds in mysterious ways. So if you've asked for, whatever you've asked for, they are responding this week. Expect the unexpected, okay? Seriously, expect the unexpected. Your prayers are going to be answered in a way that you did not expect. And that's what I got. But whatever is happening, this is a golden opportunity that leads to abundance and stability. After you have, there's been some sort of delay. There has, there's been a delay in your abundance because, I don't know, of ungroundedness, lack of practicality, lack of uh, security, in, you know, of your own inner securities, you know. Maybe you haven't been practical. You haven't been grounded. You haven't been realistic. You know, if you, if you can't be realistic and be real with yourself, then we got, then the universe has to force you to be real with yourself. Anyhow, expect the unexpected this week. You got a new opportunity here that is actually, it's a time of growth. Okay, this is a time of growth. And you add this one to the nine. I just looked at that. That's the ten of wands. You have been holding on to something that is weighing you down. Okay, you think about one wand plus the nine of wands is the ten of wands.
Okay, something has been weighing you down. It is time to let it go. This week, I feel like you're going to need to find all the strength that you can muster to let something go. Okay? You may be forced to let it go. Forced to let it go. Let it go. Forced. Let it go. Let it go. It's dead. It's over. But this is an opportunity of a lifetime. This is a gift. This is what you asked for. You may have asked for protection. Or you may have asked for something real. They're not going to give you something real until you accept reality. Good luck.